More work does not equal more success. And once you learn that, you're gonna get thousands of views on your social video content and your follower count will blow up. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the least effort possible to make your videos go viral on any platform, whether it's TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michelle Bally. I'm a creative strategist and you guys are watching Learn With Shopify. So if you wanna start a new business, make sure that you're hitting subscribe because we give you the knowledge that you need every week. Okay, so if more work doesn't equal more success, then what does? So you're not gonna believe this, but less work actually equals more success. Less time, less effort means more followers and more sales if you're running an online business. And if you still don't believe me, I'm gonna show you the six rules you need to follow to make viral videos in under 10 minutes. Keep watching because right now is the perfect time to grow. Whether you wanna be a content creator or you wanna run a business, fast video content is gonna help you get there. All right, let's get into the six rules. Number one, make it seven seconds. So I'm a huge fan of long form content, so it kind of breaks my heart to say this, but if you make your videos seven seconds long, you're gonna see incredible results. So what's gonna happen? Your retention rate for TikTok videos, Reels and YouTube Shorts will skyrocket. Social media platforms love this because you're keeping viewers on their platform for longer. So what's gonna happen when your retention rate increases? What will happen is the algorithm will show your content to more people, so that means more views. And more views means more followers, assuming you're creating the right kind of content, which we'll talk about in a second. Okay, look at this here. On my personal social media account, I posted this 15 second YouTube short and it completely flopped. This video right here is five seconds long and it did quite a bit better with 13,000 views. And guys, this is good news for you because you can set an alarm on your lunchtime, film for 10 minutes and post without even having to edit it. So guys, that was tip number one, make it seven seconds long. Tip number two, find your formula. Holy moly, guys, coming up with ideas about what you're gonna film can be super time consuming. But here's a tip. If you find a formula that works for you, you're just gonna take it and replicate it so you don't ever have to think about what you're gonna film again. Look at my guy, Jackson. Hi, Jackson. <laughs> His formula is seven second reels on Instagram with motivational quotes. And guys, that is all he does. It is the exact same video repeated with different quotes. So I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, okay, but like, what's my formula? How do I know what type of content will work for me? So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get some inspiration from the most popular accounts and videos in your niche. Scroll on your For You page like you were a scientist and you're gonna be taking notes on what catches your eye and what type of content holds your attention and the reasons why it engages you. Then you're gonna blend all that knowledge together and create something new. Now at first, you're gonna to wanna to play around, you're gonna to wanna to keep checking your analytics, but once you find a content style that has a high retention rate, views, and followers from that video, guys, I want you guys to hit the ground running. Pump that content out with slight variations. Principle number three, repurpose your content. Creating new videos from scratch every single day is gonna take a lot of time, right? So you're gonna to wanna to repurpose your content to create new content. Squeeze as much value from every video that you create as possible. Look at Jay Offline on TikTok. He creates these entertaining videos, but he uses the same sound and the same video and he just changes the funny captions. Guys, this is literally genius. This guy is huge on TikTok and he grew by repurposing content. Repurposing content is scalable because it takes less time shooting, editing, planning, scheming, plotting, and you're not gonna burn out. You're gonna stay consistent. Not to mention that repurposing content that's already gotten a good response pretty much gives you a guarantee that your audience is gonna love it again and again. Do this by creating shorts from your long YouTube videos like this, or simply save the videos that you're gonna repurpose on your camera roll and use Adobe Rush to quickly edit content from your phone. Rule number four, stitch it. So guys, same kind of vibe, but now instead of repurposing your own content, you're gonna repurpose other creators' content. You can do this on all platforms. You can stitch on TikTok, remix on YouTube and Instagram. And this isn't stealing content by any means. 
In fact, creators love it because it gives them exposure and social media platforms encourage it and it's really good for you as well. You're gonna save time and piggyback off a trending video to help grow your audience. So how should you do this? First, you're gonna find a viral video in your niche and develop your own spin on it. Some people do reaction videos, like this hairdresser reacting to this veil here. They see creators doing hacks and they put it to the test by stitching their own content like this one over here. And they do at challenges like this singing challenge here. If you do try this and it works for you and you remember to come back to this video, guys, please do drop a link so that we can see it because I am telling you it works every time. While building your social media audience, it's a great idea to start thinking about how you're gonna monetize it. And one of the best ways is to start your own e-commerce store. We have a totally free e-commerce course that is designed to get your business up and running quickly so you'll be selling in no time. Even if you have a low budget or you're a total beginner, it's gonna be great for you. So if you're interested, I will leave a link for you guys right here. All you have to do is sign up with your email and you're gonna have full access. Anyways, the next tip guys is to underproduce it. So gone are the days when you had to invest in a fancy camera to get your point across. People don't really care what kind of equipment you have or what kind of lighting you have. All they really care about is if you're adding something to their life, if you're adding value. If you are the two E's and the two I's, entertaining, educational, and inspirational and interesting, you're gonna get a hall pass for creating content with crappy lighting and a mediocre camera. And guys, people actually like underproduced content because it feels human. Look at the analytics for this really pretty video that I filmed. It's not so good, right? Now look at the analytics for this video. I just use daylight and I use my iPhone, but this underproduced video did so much better than the high quality video. And guys, I am not complaining because this video took me 20 minutes to film and 45 minutes to edit, but this one took me five minutes to film and to post. So guys, take that hall pass and underproduce your content. Next tip is to create a setup. Leave your camera up, leave your lights up. If you can manage to leave everything set up, then you're gonna save a lot of time. If you have space, make sure that you're taking advantage of it. So like for me, I don't have extra space. And the biggest thing for me when I create content is that activation energy. I'm like, okay, let me set up my lights. Let me mount my camera. Let me make sure that it's on the right settings. Let me make sure that my battery is charged, like all that stuff, right? And then at the end of the day, I have to take it down. Like it's a headache. <laughs> so if you're like me and you don't have space, then at least what you can do is you can use tape to mark the floor where your tripod goes and where your lights go. Leave a piece of paper that lists the settings that work for your camera. So like your aperture, your ISO, all that stuff. And then make sure that you're keeping the tripods at the right level. That way, when you sit down to film, there's gonna be less barriers and you can just get right into it. So back to the beginning. Remember when I said less work equals more success? It is true, guys. I used to think that the more work that I would put into my videos, the better the results would be. But the secret that no one talks about is the power of scalability with underproduced, quick and easy content. Scalability allows you to do really good work in a short amount of time. And with these tips that I've given you, instead of just like scratching your head, wiping the sweat off your brow every time you sit down to create a video, you're actually gonna be looking at the feedback that the universe and the algorithm is giving you and you're feeding it more of what it wants. It's kind of like a monster, but it's kind of an amazing monster because if you nail video content, you can literally change your career and you can change your life. By the way, if selling products to make money with your social media content sounds like something you'd be good at or something you'd be interested in, then you could actually start your store right now for free. You guys could sell merch, you could drop ship cool gadgets, you can even start a skincare line. Like the sky is the limit with e-commerce. Shopify offers a free trial for three days no credit card required so if you're interested i will leave a link for you guys in the description box so guys hopefully this has been helpful i know for me this has been a really fun video to make and if you are already making video content do us a favor drop that link so that we can see in the comment section i want to be able to inspire each other and i want to check your workout as well and for all of you guys that are new to this game do not forget to hit subscribe we have tons of more videos just like this on how to blow up your instagram account your tiktok account your e-commerce story you name it guys thank you guys so much for watching my name is michelle bally i am your host you guys are amazing and i will see you guys in the next one bye